Hey everyone, welcome to Close Call Sports for another rules analysis. Be sure to subscribe. Here we go. This video is brought to you by Umpire Placement Course. Visit the leader in umpire placement at umpcourse.com and learn how to officiate rules like this one. We got a question about the Mark Carlson and Rick Renteria ejection the other day. Now, it doesn't matter if this call is correct or not. I don't really care. No one should, but your terrible will get you thrown every time as we see the replay. The question for the UEFL to answer regarding this one was, as you can see, Renteria sitting in the dugout, makes Carlson come over to throw him out, then choose him out in front of, so he can grandstand in front of the team, and then he leaves, as he should leave. But the question is, what if he doesn't leave? What happens if a manager or a player does not leave? Can you forfeit the game? What's the rule? Let's talk about the pro rule, as different levels have different rules, and your level might have a different rule than this one. OBR 703 is a forfeit game. We're going to go line by line to see which one might apply to this situation. The first one is called the five-minute grace period, which is essentially the umpire says play, you're not ready in five minutes. It's a forfeit unless there's an extenuating circumstances, an unavoidable circumstance, such as the plane being late. So it's not that one. Let's keep going down. Employs tactics designed to delay. I mean, I guess what Renteria did was a delay. So if he kept doing it, it could be maybe. Let's stick a pin in it. Refuses to continue. No. Fails to resume. No. Remember, Renteria wanted them to continue playing. He just wanted to sit in the dugout and be there for the whole thing. It might be deemed a willful, persistent violation of the ejection rule that requires you to leave, but I like fails to obey within a reasonable time the umpire's order for removal of a player. Again, both of those are kind of there, but six, I think, is a little more on the nose. And for the rulebook lawyers amongst us, okay, that's why I included five, because rulebook lawyers are going to say, it doesn't say manager, it says player. And if we got a, uh, if Carlson didn't go over there and entertain Renteria, we might have gotten somewhere like that, but... I like that he did go over there. At that point, the guy's ejected anyway, so just get him out of there. Take your lashing and, and get on with it and write your report, and the league will probably suspend him. MLB's last forfeit, and this is how you know the league doesn't like forfeits, it was back in 95. That was Bob Davidson. We had him click the link. So there's your answer. Forfeit the game only if you need to. This video has been brought to you by Umpire Placement Course which is taking place February 4th to 11th, 2020 in Sarasota, Florida. One out of seven minor league umpires are Northwoods League's alumni. Get placed into this league and others. Try to get a $1,000 scholarship toward umpire school in 2021 if you work an entire season. Visit umpcourse.com today to sign up and get your baseball career going. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe and send us any rules questions because we'll break them down for you here at Close Call Sports.